Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome back to Dice Throwing Adventures, part number five. Uh, quick recap um, for anyone that's popping into this one first. Video one goes over the basics, showing off the components of the game um, and the rules. A little bit longer video. Then I tried to keep a little bit shorter after that. Um, video two, we go through all of the environment tiles for the board you get to play on. Video three is we go through all the different minions you get to fight um, that pop up. Little tiny tiny characters uh video four we went through all of the four bosses uh the fallen barbarian fallen monk fallen gunslinger and of course the mad king himself video five here is we're going to go through all of the loot um so this one may or may not be a little bit longer um just depending on how fast it seems i go through these um so one thing we're going to start with is we have our loot shop so after in between uh portal crawls you gotta go to the loot shop, and this is just a good reminder. Um, sheet that you can have out, which keeps track of it. You can keep your decks um, sitting up there, um, lined up with these. So common cards cost 10, rare 15, epic 20, and legendary cost 25 gold. Um, down here it shows you can sell cards for 5 gold, and over here it shows you can identify them for 10. Um, so it's kind of a neat little uh, just thing It's there, just as a good reminder. Um, they could easily, just as easily made it a small card, but they're making enough of these big boards. Why not add one? Um, and then we have a little thing here, which is, like, talking about the character itself. The other big board we have is the loot cable. Um, so we briefly looked at this during the first video. Um, but this is showing off, uh, if during the game you get pick up one of these chests, one, two, three, or four, you get to roll... Uh, the D20, um, and there's one for each player, so that way if, like, you have three players and each person, each, whenever you gain, like, a green one, every player just gets one, so every player can roll at the same time, so you don't have to wait around for each player, um, uh, so that way if someone's in the middle of playing with their hand, you don't have to wait to pass the die around, stuff like that, but we would roll, so for example, this one, if I was rolling for green, I got 16, I would get two gold for everybody, um, so as you can see clearly, like as you get more and more higher, you get you start with a lot of damage boosts, CP, draw cards, um, some health, and then gold, and then by the end you start earning some commons, maybe a rare if you're really un really lucky, and these are all unidentified. Um, so you won't know what these are; they go below your character board. You have to wait till you end the campaign to get to the shop to see what they do. Um, now, like level twos, the rare the rare chests. Um, you, you know, you kind of see everything starts to shift over and you start getting more, a little bit better cards, uh, a little bit higher amounts of gold, stuff like that. Um, same thing with three and then four. Finally, if you get four, you just get a card. They're not going to have you waste time getting the other bonuses. So, you know, sometimes getting one, twos, and threes are nice because you have them tokens. Um, and the extra CP or card draw might help during that mode or the healing. But level 4s are going to help you overall in the long run. Then if we flip this over, we have 5, 6, 7, and 8, uh, which are the boss loots. This is if you beat one of the bosses, um, or if you lose to them. You also need to draw cards for this, some of these things occasionally. Um, but now you get to you see these are all just cards. So this card game from the boss loot rolls are immediately added to your deck, or discarded for one scenario roll. Um... Yes, you have the option of adding these cards right away or getting rid of them. Um, cool. So that's, that's that with it. And then we also just want to show off our gold meter again. Um, this just keeps track of the team's communal gold. Um, cool. Now we can go ahead and hop into our cards. So we are going to start with the common. Uh, so all loot cards are going to work just like any regular card you have in your deck. Um... When you get them, let me adjust this a little bit better. All right, so you're gonna get them. The major differences is on the bottom they'll have a crystalline picture, uh, which you just show the and the card symbol to show the rarity. So we have common, we have rare would be blue, epic will be purple, legendary will be orange. Um, that's just to e easily identify that this is a loot card versus your regular. So when you're reshuffling your deck back out at the end of the game, you know quickly which ones to take out. Um, 
The other thing is some of them will have this little uh, back and forth arrow. That means you have to swap this in your deck. So get get that out of here. Level 2 is one of those cards. Uh, get that out of here is a card that every character has. Um, so if you purchase this card or if you got unidentified and you got added to your deck, um, you have to swap it out for the other one. So basically it's an upgraded version. Um, kind of like your hero upgrades. Your, your board upgrades, they just go on top and they replace the old one. These do the same thing for cards in your decks. So it's kind of a cool mechanic. Um, so I'll get that out of here to remove up to two status effect tokens from a chosen player. We have transference to uh, transfer one status effect token from a chosen player to another player. Um, so some of these might have extra abilities. Some of these might cost less CP. Some cards could potentially change uh, when they're upgraded, might change from maybe being a main phase to a roll phase or a roll phase to an instinct. Um, we have Vegas Baby 2. Roll one die, gain half the amount of CP. If desired, this die may be re-rolled one time. Uh, what status effect 2? Remove all status effects tokens from a chosen player. Then we have some new ones. We have Angelic Boots. Gain 2 Flight. Uh, so what's really fun about something like this is that each character has their tokens which are designed to work with their board, their card, um, and around how they play. All of a sudden, now if you start adding um, different uh, status effects that they can do, that can dramatically change how they play. Now there are cards like Transference, which could allow you to like, hey, I'm playing uh, the Paladin, um, and you're playing the Seraph, you could have transferred your flight over to me, or I could have taken it. Um, and you have little things like that. But now just be able to actually put some of those right in your deck. Um, so you don't have to hope that somebody else has one or you're not taking their token affecting their game. Um, but that could definitely change how some of these characters work. So it's kind of a neat concept. Uh, we have Blood Pack. You and a chosen team each roll one die. The player at the highest value draws two cards while the other player receives two damage. On a tie, both players draw two. Codex. Uh, search your library, find a card, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. We have Elven Boots. Uh, gain evasive, two, gain two evasive. Uh, gold Digger, gain three gold. If played during a boss battle, gain two CP and draw one card instead. Um, Golden Rule. A chosen hero may put an ability upgrade from their hand into play for free. Uh, this is definitely helpful for like uh, working as a team. Uh, greed. Receive 4 damage and choose one of the following. Gain 5 CP or draw 3 cards. Life. Final. Receive 3 damage. A chosen hero gains a salve. Uh, prosperity. Draw 1 card and gain 1 CP. Strength Serum. Draw 1 card. A chosen hero gains a damage boost of plus 3. And our final main phase is Treasure Hunter. Uh, gain one green loot. Teammates may not roll their loot die unless they pay one. Um, if played during a boss battle, gain one CP and draw one card instead. Um, cool. That's kind of a neat, neat little card. Then we have some upgraded uh, roll phase cards. You have Beggar D2. Chosen player may perform two additional roll attempts up to five during their defensive roll. Helping hand to select one of your opponent's dies and force them to re-roll it. I like how it's helping and then you use the word force. Um, not this time too. A chosen player prevents seven incoming damage. One more time too. A chosen player may perform an additional roll attempt and up to five dice during their offensive roll phase. Same as these two. Change the value of one of your dice to identical to the value of another dice. Um, those roll to the same phase and for the same purpose. Uh, six it to change one value of your dice to six. So I'll basically this and cost free now. So that's the upgrade. Your cards will be a little bit cheaper most of the time. So wild to change the value of any one die. Try, try again to you or a chosen teammate may reroll up to two dice. Can be the same dice. Twice in a row are two different dice. Uh, twice as wild. Change the value of any two dice. And empowered. So you have a new one. 
Attack modifier. Increase your attack damage by 2 for each ability you have upgraded up to a maximum of 6. Then we have our instances. We have bye bye uh, Remove a status effect token from a chosen player. Double up. Draw 2. Uh, getting paid. Uh, gain 3 CP. Triple up. Draw 3 cards. Uh, then I have some new ones here. We have Dig Deeper. You may reroll a loot die up to two times. This card may be played at the conclusion of a boss battle. Uh, Falcon. Choose a cell on a map and collect it. Or look at the box's next three action cards and put them back in the same order. Uh, Generous. Distribute two CP among heroes. Health Potion. A chosen heal heals two. The Pack Mule, you and chosen teammate may freely give CP to each other. Purge, roll two dice. For every four to six roll, you may remove a status effect from a chosen player. The Recall Scroll, Chose, choose one from your discard pile um, and put it into your hand. And the Tome of Knowledge, a chosen hero may search their deck for an upgrade card, put it in their hand, and then shuffle their deck. Alright, so then the last type of card we have is the new type of card uh, for the adventure games. Is our equipment cards. So when these are played, they stay on the table and they provide um, an effect. It could be a constant effect, could be a passive effect, could be a triggered effect. Um, but they stay out kind of like status tokens, um, except they're harder to get rid of. So you have a golden crown. It says when rolling a loot die, you may choose to re-roll it one time. The prophetic orb. During your income phase, draw two cards instead of one, then choose one to put back on the top of your bottom of your deck. The Regenerating Orb. Whenever a hero spends self, they heal for one additional health, applies to healing and reviving. And then finally, the Resilient Shield. Whenever your defense ability is activated, prevent one additional damage. So these aren't game-breaking effects, but then again, remember these are also common cards. Um, so what is neat is I like the fact there's upgraded cards in there. Um, lots of the upgrades are in the common, so that way, um, the higher level cards get more unique cards. I think, uh, the, uh, the rare cards we look at next will have, um, a bunch more upgrades, like level 3s. Uh, but then we start getting into, like, the epic and legendary, they end up with a lot more brand new cards. Uh, the one thing that's kind of interesting, though, is that there's only one copy of each card. So, if you're playing a four-player game, everybody's not going to get to upgrade your deck at the same, in the same amount. Which, one hand, I guess, is kind of neat, because that means everyone's, as you play through the adventure, everyone's deck is going to get just that much more different, because you're going to add brand new cards like Resilient Shield or the Tomb of Knowledge, um, you know, brand new cards. Or... It'll be, oh, this character upgrades these two cards. This one upgrades these two cards. But it, it's not going to end up by the time you get to the Mad King with every single character having their base cards all upgraded to level 3. Um, and then a couple of extra random new cards. So it, it, it's interesting to see why they, I don't know why they didn't add, like, even if they even added two sets in there. Um, but maybe that broke the game too much because maybe people were drawing the same one too many times and then you're wasting your loot rolls. Um, that's the only thing I can think of. Alright, so let's look at our rolls. We have Vegas Baby, or sorry, our rolls, our rares. We have Vegas Baby 3. Uh, roll 1, gain 1 CP plus half the value as CP. Transference 3. Transfer one status effect from a chosen player to another chosen player. So like, lots of these are just going to be free. Uh, what status effect? Free. Remove all status effects from a chosen player. Blood Pack 2. So we're getting upgrade some of the new cards. Um, you and chosen teammate each roll one die. The player with the highest value draws two cards while the other player receives one. So they get less damage. I tie both players draw one card. Now this also has the no solo mode in there. So if you're playing by yourself... You have to take out cards that um, generally always affect multiple people. Uh, Codex 2. Search your deck for any card. Put it into your hand. Shuffle your deck. Gold Digger 2. Gain 4 gold. If played during a boss battle, gain 1 CP and draw 2 cards instead. 
uh, Greed 2, receive 4 damage, then choose one of the following, gain 6 CP or draw 3 cards. Strength Serum 2, draw 1 card, Chosen Hero gains a damage boost of 4. And then Treasure Hunter 2, gain a level 2 chest, teammates that may, may not roll their loot unless they pay 1 CP. <clears throat> Alright. <clears throat> then if we hut head into the roll phase actions, we have... <clears throat> Excuse me. So wild three, change the value of any one die. Try try again, level three, choose you are chosen team may, may reroll up to three dice. Empowered two. Um, increase your attack damage by three for each ability you have, upgraded to upgraded maximum of up to six. We have slightly wild. Change the value of any of your dice to any value other than six. Now that's actually kind of cool because lots of times six will help you get your ultimate abilities, but sometimes you might, hey, I need an extra like uh, four to get something. So that's kind of cool, especially like small straights and stuff, um, or large straights probably. Unstoppable. Your attack becomes undefendable. It's a very simple boosts. Um, we have bye bye three. Uh, remove a status effect token from a chosen player. Double up two. Uh, roll a die. On four to six, draw two cards. On five to six, draw three. Uh, tip it two. Increase or decrease as I have any one die. Uh, triple up three, draw three cards. Uh, we're going to gain Angelic Boots two. Uh, gain two flight. we are thinking the first Angelic Boots had gain two flight as well. But now it's an instant action instead of a main phase. So now you can play it any time to get that. So I love that they did that for some of these cards. Um, that would have been cool if they had um, almost like character specific upgrade cards too. Um, I, I like even like a promo pack or an additional pack. That would be kind of a neat thing to do with some character cards that had bonuses like that. Uh, we have Campfire. Choose three heroes to draw one card. May choose the same hero multiple times. Dig deeper too. You may reroll a loot die up to two times. This may be played at the conclusion of a boss phase. Elven boots two. Uh, gain two evasive. Also now instinct. And Falking two. Um, same thing. Choose a, a salve on the map and collect there. Or the boss's next three actions. Um, but yeah, be able to do some of these uh, instant actions. Really fun. Generous two. Distribute three CP among heroes. Golden Rule 2, choose a hero may put an up, upgrade ability from their hand into play for free. Health Potion 2, a chosen hero heals 3. Life Final 2, receive 3 damage, a chosen hero gains 1 salve. Pack Mule 2, um, chosen hero teammate may freely, may freely give CP or salves to each other. Prosperity 2, draw 1 card. Chosen hero gains 1 CP. Purge 2. Uh, roll 3 dice for every 4 to 6 rolls. You may remove a status effect from a chosen player. Uh, recall scroll 2. Choose 1 card from your discard pile and put it into your hand. And Tome of Knowledge 2. A chosen hero may search their deck for an upgrade ability and put it into play for 2 CP instead of its original cost. Then shuffle the deck. Um, so again, this might actually cost more to play it, but the fact is, you can find it and then automatically play it. So you may be like, oh, it normally costs one. Yeah, I gotta pay one more, but I don't have to wait around another turn to do it. Um, so for some equipment, we have Coin Purse, gain your upkeep, gain one CP. Golden Crown 2, when re-rolling a loot die, you may choose to re-roll at one time. Some Leather Armor, you may re-roll any one die that was part of your roll attempt during your defensive roll phase. Prophetic Orb 2. During your income phase, draw two cards instead of one. Then the chosen one on the top or bottom of your deck. And finally, Regenerating Orb 2. Whenever a hero spends salve, they heal for one additional damage. Um, or sorry, heal one additional health. Um, Alright. Alright, we have one more rare that got shuffled into the epic because get that out of here three move up to two status effect tokens from chosen player just cheaper to play all right then let's look at our epics um 
So our epics, we're going to start right off with uh, main phase codex 3. Search your deck for any card, put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck. And treasure hunter 3. Gain a level 3 chest. Teammates may not roll their dice, loot dice unless they pay 2. Um, then we're going to head into our main phase. We have beggar D level 3. A chosen player may change the values of any dice rolled as part of the roll attempt during their defensive phase. That's pretty crazy. Um, basically just gives them whatever they need. Not this time three. Chosen player prevents eight incoming damage. Uh, six at three. Change the value of any one die to six. Uh, try, try again. Four, so have a level four card. Your chosen teammate may roll up to three dice. Twice as wild three. Change the value of any two dice. Um, slightly wild level two. Change the value of any one of your teammates' dice value to any value other than six. Um, we have a brand new one. We have Stamina Tonic. Uh, at the conclusion of the current roll phase, beginning the additional roll phase may only be played on your own turn. Unstoppable level two. Uh, chosen Hero's attack becomes undefendable. Then we have a bunch of instances. We have Babai level 4. She's up to 2 status effect tokens. Remove up to 2 status effect tokens from chosen player. Double up 4. Um, roll 1 die. 1 to 2 draw 2. 3 to 6 draw 3. Getting paid level 3. Chosen player gains 3 CP. Tip it level 3. Increase or decrease the value of any die by 1 or 2. Um, I love that. And Vegas Baby level 4. Um, roll 1 die, chosen player gains 1 CP plus half the value of CP, rounded up. Angelic Boots 3, chosen hero gains 2 flight. So probably just cheaper, so most of these are. Uh, Campfire 2, a chosen hero draws 1 card. Or choose 4 heroes to draw 1 card. Uh, dig deeper, you may reroll a loot die up to 2 times. Uh, maybe play at the conclusion of the boss battle. Elven Boots 3. Chosen Hero gains 2 evasive. Uh, Generous 3. Distribute 4 CP amongst heroes. Health Potion 3. Chosen Hero heals 4. Additionally, you may pay 1 to remove any status effect from that player. Uh, Pack Mule 3. You and your teammates may freely give CP and salves to each other. So I think the other one said it was like you and another teammate, and now it's everybody. Um, Prosperity 3, draw 1 card, chosen hero gains 2, CP, purge 3, roll 4 dice. For every 4 to 6 rolled, you may remove a status effect from a chosen player. And our final instant is recall scroll 3, choose 1 card from your discard pile and put it into your hand. And then we have some more equipment, we have coin purse 2. During your upkeep, gain 1 CP. Uh, full Mithril Jacket. You may perform an additional roll attempt of up to 5 dice during your defensive roll phase. Um, so my only question here is, I'm assuming if it says you only get to roll 2 dice, you only get to roll 2 dice. I'm assuming that's what it means. Uh, Golden Crown 3. When rolling a loot dice, you may choose to re-roll at one time. Uh, Weather Armor 2. You may re-roll up to two dice that were rolled as part of your roll attempt during your defensive roll phase. Prophetic Orb 3. During your income phase, draw two cards instead of one. Then choose one of them and put them at the top or bottom of your deck. And then Regenerating Orb 2. Whenever a hero spends a salve, they may heal for one additional health. Um, and then now I just realized, I said earlier in the video, I didn't understand why they didn't have multiple copies when I was looking at the comments, the common cards. Why well, they have multiple copies of all the upgrades? Because they have level 3s and level 4s. So, more or less what should be happening then is, yeah, again, not everyone's going to end the game with, you know, max level 3 or max level 4 exchanges for their regular cards. But player 1 could have a level, have a basic version. Player 2 could have a level 2. Player 3 could have a level 3. Because you could each get different ones. Um... I guess the one question you'd have to, ch I, I, he probably says in the book, or you might have to house rule it, would be is, um, 
in between loot phases, do you um, reshuffle any cards that came up? So, an example would be, I have a level 2 card, I purchase a level 3. I have to get rid of the, you know, do I just straight up get rid of that level 2, and then now somebody else can get it, or do I just put it over top of it, um, and now nobody has access to that at all. But again, someone else could draw the level 4 later, and they could buy it separately. Um, so that's kind of, I guess that's probably why they didn't make multiples, because you'd end up with, you know, constantly drawing the same ones over and over and over. Alright, so now we're going to look at the legendary. These cards are all foiled. Um, which, at least the nice part is they're not foiled on the text part here, um, or at least not heavily. Um, I get it, it's kind of like e epic loot, it's foil. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of just foiling cards for the sake of foiling them, though. Um, they do kind of warp, you can already see my cards. You know, like, as compared to the commons here. So, commons versus... Epic, you gotta see they're starting to warp a bit. Now, if I get them all sleeved up, um, especially if I use higher grade sleeves like the official dice roll ones, that might help a little bit because they'll be tighter uh, versus penny sleeves it might not be that tight. But you shouldn't have to buy additional things to help your cards. Um, and that's not to say they still won't warp a little bit because then things can't be that tight. Anyhow, let's jump into this. We have Blood Pack 3. Um, you have two mates, roll one die, put it to highest value, draws two, on a tie, both players draw two, so get rid of the, um, damage. Codex 4, search your deck for any card, put it in your hand, then shuffle your deck, don't just cost free. Stamina Tonic 2, at the conclusion of your turn, beginning additional turn. So it's not even roll phase now, now let's take another full turn. Um, I have a Torin card here, which sucks, um... Serum Strength 3, draw one card, up to two chosen heroes, each gain damage boost of 4. Not sure how that works, but... And then Treasure Hunter 4, gain a level 4 loot. Teammates may not roll a dice unless they pay 3. Alright, roll phase. Not this time 4, chosen player prevents 9 damage. One more time, level 3. A chosen player may perform up to two additional roll attempts during their offensive phase. Uh, same as 3. Change the value of up to two of your dice to be identical to the value of one of your other dice. Twice as wild, 4. Change the value of any two dice. Slightly wild. Change the value of your you or your teammates' dice to any value other than 6. Um... We have get that out of here for move up to two status effect tokens from a chosen player. So wild four change the value of any one die. Triple up four draw four cards and then discard one card from your hand. Campfire three choose up to four heroes to draw one card then choose two heroes to gain a damage boost one token. Uh, dig deeper four you may reroll a loot die up to three times. This card may be played at the conclusion of a boss battle. Falcon 3. Gain a salve on the map. Or look at the boss's next three actions. Um, Golden Roll 3. A chosen hero may put up to two of their ability cards from their hand into play for free. That's always helpful. Health Potion 4. Choose the hero to heal 5. You may additionally remove any status effects from that player. Uh, life final 3, heal 2 damage, and chosen hero gains a solve. Sorry, receive 2 damage, a chosen hero receives a solve. Prosperity 4, draw a card, chosen hero gains 3 CP. Purge 4, uh, roll 5 dice for every 4 to 6 die roll, you may remove a status effect from a chosen player. Uh, recall scroll, recall scroll 4. A, choose one card from a hero's discard pile and put it back into their hand. That's fun, that helps anybody. And Tome of Knowledge 3. A chosen hero may search their deck for an upgrade ability and put it into play for one. And then our new equipments are Blazing Effigy. Uh, all your attacks inflict burn. So again, this is kind of the things I was looking for. Um, like the evasive boots and the angelic boots. Things that let other characters use other tokens. Um, blinding amulet, all your attacks inflict blind. 
full mithril jacket. Two, you may perform two additional roll attempts up to five dice during your defensive roll. Uh, golden crown four. When rolling for loot, you may choose your reroll at one time. Poison syringe. All your attacks inflict poison. Prophetic orb four. During your income phase, draw two instead of one, then choose one and then to put back in the top of your deck, bottom of your deck, or to be discarded. And then our final loot card is the Resilient Shield 2. Whenever you're attacked, prevent one damage. Um, so definitely fun. Lots of cool loot cards. Um, now most of them are just, there are some brand new ones, and then there's just upgraded versions of those, as well as upgraded from the base deck. If you want a little bit more variety, um, I did do another video you can check out about promo cards. They have a Dice Adventure promo, which adds... Uh, 15 more loot cards, so a couple to each different level. Um, and then there's also a uh, the Santa versus Krampus set, uh, which just tick started, had some bonus cards promo pack, which, excuse me, is not currently released in their store, but I couldn't find another that said that was tick starter exclusive, so those might come out. Those also added some additional, um, Content for this game. So they add more minions as well um, But they also add some more loot cards with some more different abilities and not just upgrades to the current stuff So if you're looking for a little bit more extra stuff both of those promo packs if you can get them are definitely worth picking up for that um, Although it would be kind of cool if they had some Marvel ones like this like some Marvel uh, They haven't made any but I wouldn't mind some Marvel loot cards for this uh, just to add in, like, hey, I want to play with my Marvel characters in here. Here's some Marvel loot cards, like Captain America Shield or something like that. Um, uh, that would be kind of a neat idea, too. Um, alright. So that is what we have for all of our loot. So, the last thing we're going to look at, um, not in this video, but we will do the next video. So, if you guys want to check it out, we're going to look at the Legacy Packs. Uh, which do add some more loot as well. Add some more minions, add some more special loyalty cards, as well as we're going to get some extra locations. Um, but we'll do that in, sep in a separate video just because, uh, the one, this is getting long, and two, people might not want to be spoiled. Alright, I will see you guys then. Bye.